Hello everyone, welcome to Real Advice and today we're reviewing the romance drama film First Love. The film stars Aga Mulak and Bea Alonzo and it's set in Vancouver, Canada. It's directed by Paul Soriano and released back in 2018. The film is now available to stream on Netflix if you're interested in seeing it. Based on our research, the film was kinda a flop back then and let's find out if audiences missed out on this experience. The film features two Filipino Canadians who faithfully meet each other one day. The first one is Ali, played by Bea Alonzo, who works at a bookshop. She has an impulsive and carefree personality who savors every moment of her life. Most of this is due to a condition with her heart that can lead to her death anytime. She has been on the wait list for a heart donor but hasn't had any luck yet. The second person is Nick, played by Aga Mulak, who is a venture capitalist. He has a dark past and has been trying to fix and make up for it for the longest time. Due to this, and unlike Ali, he has a more somber look in the remaining days of his life. On their first meeting, even with their differences in their outlooks, sparks begin to fly and they connect on a deep and intimate level. But can their hopeless situation be transformed to hope and something everlasting? Now before we start with our review on First Love, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You can also give a like, share this video, or even leave a comment. First Love had almost everything to make it one memorable experience. In fact, its setting and accompanying cinematography from director Paul Serrano was outstanding and outstanding. If we could judge the film based on eye candy alone, then this was one of the best local films we have seen in that aspect in recent times. But First Love lacked any surprises, literally and figuratively. It was so mapped out that its story was predictable from its first 15 minutes. We wanted to love First Love, but we just couldn't move on from its massive deficiencies in its writing and casting. It was one of those films that you could really feel its potential trying to squeeze out or ooze out, but being limited in a very frustrating manner. The former we already mentioned earlier, its narrative development being too predictable. But we think worse, it felt like we were watching a telenovela at times with most of its pivotal moments rendered in an overdramatic and corny fashion. Its twists and turns definitely cheapened out the whole experience, in our opinion. Second was the casting. And not that Aga Mulak and Bea Alonso had bad performances, in fact they actually had strong ones. But there was a lack of chemistry between the actors. Overall, First Love was the perfect example of doing what's needed but nothing more. The film was perfectly acceptable and it had all the basic elements to make it work. But it being too safe meant that there's also nothing memorable or special about it, unfortunately. Our rating for First Love is 3 out of 5 reels. Now if you reach this point in our video, thank you for watching our review on First Love. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button to get the latest reviews.